Apple, what are you doing? What's up, Team Flynn? Pat Flynn here, and this is especially for you podcasters out there. Apple recently sent an email at the end of February 2019 to let us know that we have to follow some rules when it comes to the metadata of our show. That is, the title, the description, the episode numbers, and those sorts of things. And if we do certain things, we can get our podcast kicked out or removed from Apple Podcasts. Now, they're very clear about a few things. For example, making sure to avoid placeholder text from your hosting provider, such as podcast by author name, podcast weblog, and description goes here. You obviously don't want those things in wherever those things should go, because that obviously means you haven't done the work to actually make your show you know, attractive to people with ears. Next, including verbatim repetition of the title or author name in the description. So if you have your title, whatever the title might be, the Smart Passive Income Podcast, you do not want that same thing to be mentioned in the description. And actually that's a good thing because you're wasting space if you are, you've already mentioned that in the title, you don't need to mention it again, that's fine. Next, incorporating irrelevant content or spam. For example, show titles like The Very Hungry Tourists, Travel, Explore, Learn, Eat, sing, dance, play, SEO, all that stuff. You do not want to, in the title of your show and or the podcast host name, to include those things. And that was a very popular practice back in the day before Apple finally woke up from their however long hibernation due to a lot of things that are happening in the world of podcasting right now, which quite honestly are really exciting. And uh, what's exciting is that Apple is finally, you know, thinking about us podcasters, which they haven't done for so long. And then finally, and this was the last bullet point in the email that confused and scared most people, and that is adding episode numbers in titles. For example, show titles like The Very Hungry Tourists, Episode 1, or episode titles like Zero One, Broken Heirloom. Now, this is where most people were scared because episode numbers in titles are very important. They are important for the following reasons. Number one, it's more easy to remember the episodes and to share those particular episodes and to have people find them. I guess that's three things, right? But for instance, I can't say, uh, well, make sure you listen to episode 244 of the Smart Passive Income podcast with Nathan Berry, or 263 with Clay Collins, or 122 with Shane and Joss and Sams, or episode 51 with Tim Ferriss. Because those numbers are there, number one, I remember them, but number two, I can share them and easily have people find them. Now, I understand why Apple is doing this. They're doing this because they're trying to clean things up a little bit and standardize just how episodes look on their platform. They love good design, and with the freedom that we have to put whatever we want in the titles, episode titles can be long and just formatted differently, and they wanna keep things the same. And most of all, it can be used elsewhere. For example, in the Apple Podcast app in certain iOS versions, you can actually see the episode number, not here, or not here, but here in this little gray area up at the top, which you can only get to once you click through. And this is why it's obnoxious right now and why people are upset because it just makes it very difficult for people to find. Apple wants us to include this metadata in the iTunes tag for the episode number, which then removes it from the title, but then it's different for Stitcher and Spotify and Google Podcasts. So what do we do here? Well, the funny thing is Apple reached back out to everybody a couple days later retracting exactly what they said about the episode numbers and specifically and flat out said, your show won't be removed for having episode numbers in your titles, which is a good thing. And that's the way I prefer it. I prefer to have a little bit of freedom in terms of how I want my title to be displayed. And again, I like having it at the front end of the show because it's easier to find. Now, if you still wanted to remove it, but still wanted people to find your episodes, you can include the episode number at the beginning of your description if you wanted to, which gets truncated, so make sure it's at the front. But that being said, Apple, what are you doing? It would have just taken a quick conversation with a few podcasters to understand that this is something that we didn't want. And you had all of us scrambling to change things, and many people have changed things, and luckily some hosting providers allow to easily change this across multiple episodes at the same time. However, I want to give a big shout out to Jason Skinner in the Power Up Podcasting group who pointed this out and started this, this discussion in, in, a, in the group that I have for my paid course, Power Up Podcasting. But more than that, it just brings up the idea that, okay, Apple, you're finally waking up. This is good. Thank you for paying attention to us podcasters now. But if you really want to know what would be helpful, like ask us. I don't know if you did ask or you kind of just assumed, but we are here and we are happy to help you. So reach out to us, let us know what you're thinking. You wanna know what other platform has had problems with their creators and has caused a lot of problems recently? YouTube. And unfortunately, us podcasters, we can't just start posting stuff about 
Apple Podcasts on podcasts and have people share it and easily find it because guess what? You guys don't make it easy for people to find and share podcasts yet. So be like YouTube and start listening to your creators. And no, they're not perfect yet, but they've started the right process of actually giving us the content we need and actually interacting with us and asking us what we need. And it would be awesome if you could do the same thing. You guys are potentially losing out on a huge, massive wave of content here. And yes, I know you got other things to deal with like your phones and your watches and your cars and all that stuff. But hey, there are a lot of people who need you to step up and it would be really awesome before Spotify takes the spotlight from you. And they kind of are doing that right now. As many of you know, Spotify was the spotlight a couple weeks ago when they had purchased two big things related to podcasting. Number one, Gimlet Media, and then they also purchased Anchor. And what I'm excited about on the Spotify end of things is they make finding, they make creating playlists, they make sharing episodes a lot easier. And we can already do things that we can do on Spotify that we cannot do with Apple Podcasts yet. For example, sharing our episodes on Instagram stories directly through sharing Spotify podcast episodes, which is really cool. So Apple, I, I beg of you, please step up because you have just all the things that you need right there. And if it just requires you reaching out to a few of us or all of us or running surveys like something, please. Um, I hope that you will listen and I don't know if you'll ever watch this, but it would be great if uh, we podcasters, we had somebody on your end who had our backs. It would be amazing. So Apple, uh, you know, I was hoping that maybe by the end of this video, this thing would be rotten already because you know how like oxidation and all that stuff. And it would have been, it would have been a really cool thing to say like, you know, I know podcasting is just a small bite of the overall company of Apple, but it just takes one rotten piece to start making the whole Apple look bad. But you know what? This Apple actually tastes really good, so I'm going to keep eating it. It was good in theory, but I'd have to wait like two hours. And I have other videos and things to do, so. Anyway, hey, do you have a podcast? If you do, or you have permission... Tell us the name of it in the comment section. Um, what are your thoughts on Apple and what they're doing? Now you might be wondering, okay, well, do I include the podcast episode numbers? You can follow Apple suggestions and use the iTunes metadata specifically for episode numbers and leave the episode number out of your title if you wish. However, I'm going to keep them in there because it makes it just easier for people to see and find those episodes, and hopefully there'll be a better solution later. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on Apple and what they're doing. If you have any wishes from Apple, put them below, podcasters. Love to hear from you on what you think can be done to improve the podcasting space here. And again, shout out your show below. Thanks, guys. Take care. Team Flynn for the win. That's pretty good.